friends, it's Miss Tina from the Watertown Public Library again with Miss Tina time. I've got Lupo here again with me today. Say hi. Uh, so he is excited to join in for story time again with us today. Um, today we are going to be doing some fun songs and rhymes and books as well. Um, Grown-ups, thank you so much for sharing all of the pictures and videos of your kiddos enjoying Miss Tina time. It was really, really fun for us to see, and we hope you'll do that again. So I'm going to let Lupo sit down here. You might join in. We'll see. Um, and we're going to do our hello song from Baby Bounce, okay? Let's get our fingers ready. Let's wiggle them up. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And squish them real tight. And then stretch them out real big. And then squish them up real tight again. And stretch them back out. And let's wiggle them. Perfect. I think we're ready. Here we go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With all our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With all our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. Good job. So welcome to Miss Tina time. This week, we're gonna read a couple of books and do a little song about the new season that we're in. Do you know what season that we are in right now? Hmm. Are we still in winter? I don't know. Do you see snow outside? We have seen some snow, but it's not sticking around. So I don't think it's winter anymore. I think we've moved to the next one. Hmm. What else might you guess? If you guessed the season of spring, you guessed right. We're starting to see things be more green again. Flowers are starting to grow. We're starting to see bees around and um, caterpillars and butterflies. Lots of fun stuff happens in the spring. It's one of my favorite seasons. So the first book that we're gonna read has one of our Storytime favorite characters in it. And this one is Little Blue Trucks Springtime. This book is written by Alice Shirtle and illustrated by Jill McElmurray. All right, here we go. See, there's Little Blue Truck. And do you see all these baby animals? You see lots of different baby animals in the spring. So let's see if we can find some in here. Little Blue Truck is on the road, taking a drive with good friend Toad. It's a yoo-hoo sky blue spring sing day. Who do they see along the way? Hmm. Yoo-hoo sheep, beep beep, what's new? There's sheep. And this is a cool book because it has a flaps to it, look. Open it up. A little white lamb and a twin lamb too. See, one, two. Woohoo! who's swimming in a line? Yoo-hoo duck and ducklings nine. Let's see if we can count the ducklings together. We're gonna start right over here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and look at number nine. See him? Where is that little duckling riding? So silly, he's riding on his mom's back. Yoo-hoo goat, what do you say? Can the kids come out and play? Yoo-hoo cow, just munching corn. Yoo-hoo little calf just born. See all the baby animals? Mama pig, who's in your pen? Yoo-hoo piglets, one, two, ten. Oh, do you think there's really ten piglets there? Let's count them too and see if we can find out. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're right. There's ten piglets in there. What's this nestled in the grass? Check it out before we pass. Tap, tap. Anybody home? Who's inside this smooth, round dome? What do you think might be in there? Hmm, let's see. Crickety crack. Everybody shout. Yoo-hoo, chick. Come on out. Look, it's a little baby chick. So cute. Yoo-hoo, sun. Yoo-hoo, sky. Yoo-hoo, white clouds sailing by. 
Birds that sing, frogs that leap, yoo-hoo spring, beep, beep, beep. Do you see all the baby animals that we saw in the book? Which ones are these? They are the little ducklings. What about these guys? The little piglets. Oh, there's the baby chick we saw hatching out of the egg. The baby calf, baby sheep. There's the little bunnies. Very cute. I hope you liked that first book. Before we read the second book, we're gonna sing a song called the Spring Song. So the first part, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna make a sun up bright in the sky. Can you make a sun up above your head? Good job, that looks great. And then what do we feel from the sun? Does the sun feel cold? No, the sun feels warm. So the part of the song says, oh, I love to feel the warmth. So we're gonna give ourselves a little hug and then we're gonna make the sun shine bright again. Good job. The next part is the rain is falling down. So can you take your fingers and wiggle them down like this? Just like the rain falling down. And what do we use to hear? We use our Ears, yeah. So we're gonna point to how I love to hear the sound and point to our ears because that's what we listen with. And then the rain is gonna fall down some more. And then the next part is the flowers start to bloom. So we're gonna put our fingers like this and we're gonna make the flowers bloom and grow. Good job. And how do we see the flowers? What part do we use to see? Hmm, do we use our nose? No, we don't use our nose to see. We use our eyes to see. So we're going to point to our eyes and then we're gonna make the flowers bloom one more time. Are you ready? All right, here we go. The sun is shining bright. The sun is shining bright. Oh, how I love the warmth. The sun is shining bright. Good job. The rain is falling down. The rain is falling down. Oh, how I love the sound. Good job. The rain is falling down. The flowers start to bloom. The flowers start to bloom. Oh, how I love the sight. Good job. The flowers start to bloom. Good job. Give yourselves a big clap. You did a great job singing the song. All right, the second book that I have for you today about spring is another one of our favorites. We love pop-up books at our story times, don't we, friends? We sure do. So this book is called Snappy Little Springtime, and it's a pop-up book. This is written by Dougald Steer and illustrated by Derek Matthews. So let's see what kind of animals you might see in the spring. When sunshine melts the winter snow, the frosty days are past. So wake up, sleepy animals. The spring is here at last. There you go. What are these guys? Little squirrels. It's springtime in the hen house. One hen just had to peep. Fluffy little chick re er, reach out. Hi, mommy, with a cheep. The biggest blossoms open up to bloom before our eyes. Do you think caterpillars know they'll soon be butterflies? <gasps> Look at the butterflies. Look at this one's way up there. Yeah. The baby bunnies in the wood are having lots of fun. Each new spring day begins with play. Just watch them hop and run. Look at the bunnies, they're so cute. In spring, so many busy birds go soaring through the sky. It's nesting time, not resting time, until their chicks can fly. Do you see all the birds in their nest? Look, we've got one, two over here, and there's one over in this one. Oh, what a naughty baby goat. He's really not that bad. He only wants some springtime fun, just like his good old dad. Uh-oh, what is the baby goat eating? Look, a flower. Uh-oh. The piglets all like rainy days. They love to splash about. They find a muddy puddle and then they jump in and out. They look like they're having fun, don't they? 
It's kind of fun to play in the mud sometimes. A kitten pops up by a pond where baby tadpoles grow. Frog needn't fear, she's only here to meow. Well, hello. <laughs> Look at all the little tadpoles in the water too. The little lambs play peekaboo. They'll soon be fully grown. We'll see them next to this, excuse me, we'll see them again next year. They'll have lambs of their own. How many baby lambs do you see? Let's count them. One, two, three, three baby lambs. Good job. We really like those pop-up books, don't we? All right, so the song that you're gonna listen to today um, is by The Learning Station. It's called Spring Is Here. So let's practice a bit first, kiddo, so you know what to do. So we're gonna see a bunch of different animals and uh, birds and bugs and frogs that are going to be doing a bird walk or a frog jump. So the first part goes, we're gonna see a bluebird first. The bluebird goes, we're gonna do the bluebird walk. Good job. And strut our thing. Can you move your arms and walk in place? Good job. Then we're gonna flap our wings. We know how to flap our wings, don't we? And then we're gonna do the bird walk again. And then we're gonna put our hand up like this and look around for another sign of spring. Good job. The next one is a bee walk. So we're gonna walk like a bee and we're gonna flap our wings. Good job. And then we're gonna look around for another sign of spring. Good job. The next one is gonna be a ladybug. So we're gonna do a ladybug walk. We're gonna flap our ladybug wings. We're gonna do a ladybug walk again. And then we're gonna look around for a sign of spring. Good job. The next one is a butterfly walk. We're gonna flap those butterfly wings. Maybe you can move them back and forth this way because butterflies move their wings this way. Good job. Then we're gonna look around for another sign of spring. And then the last one is a frog jump. So you're gonna jump in place just like a frog. Good job. And then it's gonna be a little silly. We're gonna stick our tongues out. Can you stick your tongue out as far as you can just like a frog? And we're gonna try and catch mosquitoes. Good job, don't really catch mosquitoes. Yuck, that sounds gross. <laughs> So you're gonna go on the YouTube link will be down below in the comments for the grown up so you can find the song on the learning station. Well, I hope you had as much fun as I did on our next story time. Uh, it's gonna be Thursday at 10 o'clock again. I hope you'll join us for more and um, post your pictures and videos if you're able to, cause I'd love to see you. Thanks so much for joining us for Miss Tina time. See you next week, bye.